This video is to help troubleshoot and calibrate a go-direct ion selective electrode. I have a nitrate electrode attached to my amplifier and I'm going to connect it in graphical analysis software. I select it from the list of available wireless devices. And for troubleshooting purposes, it's very important that not only do I have the nitrate channel, which is typically on by default, I also want to make sure I enable the potential channel. So make sure both those channels are enabled to troubleshoot a nitrate ISE. If, for example, you had a calcium electrode attached, you would want to make sure calcium and potential were selected. I want to open my meters so we can see a little bit better. For a nitrate ion selective electrode in the high standard, the potential reading should be around 50. This value is pretty close. I'm not too worried about it. However, my milligram per liter is quite a bit off. This standard should be 100 milligrams per liter and it is reading 50, so I want to recalibrate. To do that, I select nitrate, calibrate, and enter the first known value of my high standard, which is 100 milligrams per liter. I select keep, and now I need to transfer to my low standard. I want to make sure I rinse my electrode first with deionized water. And blot it dry with a chem one. And put it in my low standard. I want to make sure this relative stability reading stabilizes before I type in the milligrams per liter, which for the low standard is 1. This can take a few minutes. Now my sensor reads one milligram in the low standard, and the potential reading here should be about 166 millivolts. So that is within the range I would expect. Let's go back and check our high standard, see if it is reading closer to 100. And it is.